Today's video is going to be on how to better calibrate your FL Sun V400 3D printer. Normally, like in the program, it will only give you a seven point like probe, but you can go into the settings in the configuration and turn that up so it does a better bed mesh. So I just want to show like how I did it. Once you get your printer connected to your Wi-Fi connection, then whatever device you're on, whether it's your computer or iPad or anything, if you type in the IP address into the address bar, it will bring up this interface what you can use with your printer. What you want to do is once this loads, come down to where it says machine and then if your machine's quite new, yours might be on the first page, but you are looking for this file what says printer.cfg not these ones that have got the numbers all in between them just this main one at the bottom here and then once this loads it's going to come up like this and you're going to scroll down till you see or oh, it's number 165 calibrate and bed mesh so on here basically if you follow the settings that i've got written on here it should do the same for you the main one is the round probe count, yours is going to say 7 and then 7 by 7. You want to change that to 9 and then 9 by 9. And then up here where it says samples, that will be a 3. You want to change that to a 5. I think that's the only 2 that you change. But yep, you can see mine there. Once you've changed them, you have to come up the top here and say save and restart. And then it'll say printer successfully saved config. I'm going to click on my height map so you can see this is how my height map is right now. What you want to do now is if you come to this console and you type in up the top here as well you've got to make sure that your probe is into your printer where it goes underneath the it clips into the top of the machine. Make sure you've got that probe on. Type in probe underscore calibrate and then press send oh you must home the probe before so you come back to the dashboard up here where it says home all you just click that and then you'll see the printer will home and then come to the console type in or you can just click on that now it's already written out and then come back to the top here click start and now you'll see, I'll show the video, it's coming down. I'm actually using the shiny side to do the calibration because a lot of people recommended it. So, and you can see there that clicked five times and it showed me the five different probe points, or actually they're the same because it all pressed on the same point. So now, up the top here, you want to write save underscore config and press enter. So now it's just restarting everything and saving that. And now it says loaded G code offsets. Now I'm going to press home. So now this is going to rehome itself. On the pad you press configuration, bed level. Now I'm going to click calibrate from here. And it'll say make sure you have the level leveling plugged in. Just let that come down and do what it's got to do. So as you can see now it's going for a bit more of a precise calibration. So that's that calibration finished. Now while you still have the probe on there, you can see this is restarting itself as well. Okay, so now press configuration again, go to bed level, go to bed mesh, and you'll see this time, make sure again still that that's plugged in, you'll see this time. And you can see there it does a much more precise calibration. So that bed mesh is finished now. 
and now it should restart and pop up on the computer so yep yeah, there it goes one thing I didn't mention before just make sure you clean this plate right off some people recommend to flip it over like this so you have the silver side up while you do the probing so so now that's done with the probe I'm going to remove this probe there's one last calibration you have to do on here with at the end I'm going to show you have to actually add this bed mesh onto your file before you load it up I'll show how that's done now you go to bed level you go to move Z to zero remove the switch make sure you've removed the switch continue and then now it's calibrate Z and you can choose it depends how far you are away from the bed I mean like this I can use 0 0.1 for a while until it gets pretty close you don't want to crash into it though so just go a few or go one at a time and just move the paper back and forward is your best bet once you feel it getting closer like that I'm going to half my movements okay and now I can feel it gripping so I'm going to put it down to 0 0.1 and you want to slide this paper back and forward until it gets to about this point where it's going to bend under pressure but you can still move it back and forward so I'm happy with where, where that is and it shows on here that's 2.21 millimeters so I'm going to go back you'll see that what I just set there 2.210 is here the Z offset I'm going to click save save config or you could just type in save config and then you'll see it restart itself again and now on the Z offset it's set to the 2.210 so now that is all calibrated that was without heat in the bed I'm going to take a screenshot of that then I'm going to heat the bed up and take another and I'll, then I'll show the difference between if you heat the bed and if you don't so that's the second bed mesh loaded I'll Put the first one up as well so you can see the difference between the two hot with the bed heated up which is going to be the one at the top and then the one down here is with a with the bed cooled down you know with the bed with no heat just room temperature um, one very important thing that you have to do now is whatever program you're using to slice your object up which i use cura so in Cura, wherever your printer is, like mine, FL Sun V400, then you want to go to Manage Printers, you want to go to Machine Settings, and down here, in, in your Start G code, you need to have Bed Mesh Profile Load equals, and then whatever you named it, if you didn't name it it would have just named it default like that so under under G28 which is home all so just make sure that you put it there so yeah I think that covers it as much as I can so hopefully this helps someone out if it did help you out please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible thank you